I grew up in a Christian home in a small town in northwestern Pennsylvania. I attended a uh, Nazarene church, uh, probably of about 150 to 200 people. Uh, when I was eight years old in 1979, I was sitting in the congregation and the pastor had given an altar call and I went forward and uh, gave my life to Christ at that time. I was honestly a really good kid. Um, most people would probably say, yeah, sure, but uh, I, I really was. And that went on into my teenage years uh, as well. When I was 15 years old, I was attending a youth camp and during one of the evening services is when I really heard God actually for the first time call me into ministry. Uh, I wasn't necessarily sure what area of ministry he was calling me into, but at that point in time, I didn't care. I know that I wanted to do whatever it was that God would have me do. After I got the call, I began to start doing everything that I could that would benefit the kingdom. Uh, by the time I was 17, I was teaching a fifth and sixth grade Sunday school class. I was leading both morning and evening worship on Sunday mornings. Uh, I would help out with the youth as I could. When I went off to college, I attended a Christian college in Boston, Massachusetts, my busyness for the kingdom continued. I found every opportunity that I could to be involved in different clubs. I was working two jobs, one at the college and working as a part-time youth pastor. I just found myself constantly trying to be busy for the Lord. I sat down with my class advisor, and after having some conversations with him, we came to realize that I actually believed that doing things for the kingdom is what made me a better Christian. In my impatience to do things for the kingdom, I found that I was getting ahead of God rather than walking with God. Now, I try to be a person who waits on God's clear direction rather than doing things on my own. I try to be a person who walks with God rather than ahead of Him. I don't always succeed at that, but with God's help and grace, He always brings me back to where I need to be. My name is Dan Henley. And this is my story.